Edward, are you ready for my planner flip of my personal rings, Naya Papery? Are you ready? I think you are. So let's get this video started. Oh my gosh, let me put my phone back on my like tripod thingy and start filming. I have been wanting to film this flip through of my Naya Papery for so long. I had to do a collab video first because I've been wanting to do a collab with Quinn Planning with Quinn for so long and I just filmed that and that's uploaded so I don't know when I'm uploading this video. The sun is currently in my face. Hopefully it will go away but if not at least you can see how this planner looks like in natural light. This is the Naya Papery Undyed and Personal Rings with the collab is with, I think it's with Thick Plans. I'm not sure. Um, I'll make sure to link this planner down below so you can take a look at it as well. Um, it is a beautiful, beautiful leather. Oh my goodness. I am, I just put the blinds down because it, the sun was getting into my face. But I know there were some issues with with this undyed um, leather. <laughs> you can see here he just like licked it. Um, but to me, from my experience, I'm not like negating anyone's experiences because, you know, your your experiences are valid. Uh, to me, I ordered this, this um, Naya paper we with my friend Tom. So we did joint order to Victoria, BC. And I am so happy about this planner. You can see here that there are a lot of wrinkles and the wrinkles were more apparent before the patina. So it was more like this wrinkly and this color. You can see here there's like a lot of wrinkles. You can see there's like a bit of a sheen to it too. I think it's just like the, I don't know what it is, maybe a coating. Um, So the leather could just be a little bit more durable even though it will patina. I mean, like the, my Malden has a bit of like a shiny feel to it too, even though I know it's leather. So it could possibly be, even though it's raw, it's not like 100% raw, like from the animal itself. There might be like some sheen to it because of how it's been. Um, sorry, Edward wants to go upstairs to see Lauren. It is a type of leather that will patina over time because it is the undyed. Um, but it's definitely not going to be like your typical Gilio BDS undyed leather it's going to be more raw more durable oh my gosh edward um i think he wants to go upstairs to see lauren maybe i should pause this and go upstairs it is my lunch time now and i am getting kind of hungry but edward crying is really bothering me but anyways um i love this leather it's just not a cu the cup of tea for most so i did bring Edward upstairs and he actually just wanted to say hi to Lauren because he could hear Lauren playing upstairs and <laughs> he saw Lauren and gave her a few licks and when I came back downstairs he wanted to come downstairs with me so he is beside me again so what was I saying so <laughs> it's like two hours later because I had my lunch and everything like that and yeah so much information, so much useless information. Anyway, it's not even sunny outside anymore. It's like an overcast. So hopefully you can still see the true color. Um, I don't edit my videos. Um, on, I don't know why, like on iMovie, if I edit any of the shading or anything like that, like it just doesn't look good. So what I've done is just like make sure that it's like good lighting whenever I'm filming. But anyways, so I have truly been really happy with this planner. You can see here the patina, the wrinkles, even though with the shininess about it that people have um, criticized my papery, I I loved it. It's it's durable. I can like I've drooled on it. I <laughs> dropped like Coke Zero on it, turkey grease, and it's just so durable. It's still patinaing, and I love it. And you can see here all the wrinkles, and it didn't look like that. Like I was saying, it looks more like of this lighter shade. But yeah, I just, I love this planner. So the, I didn't know if I mentioned this already, but this planner configuration is um, in collaboration with Night Papery and Vic, Vic Plans, I believe her name is. Um, I'll make sure to link the planner down below so you can check out the actual listing um, and you can pick the leather that you want. So I picked the Undyed, obviously. And because it's like the Vic, plans collab the pocket configurations are interesting so I'll go into the pocket configuration so 
I just have some, um, I think this is from Ally B Designs, but this is um, Sterling Ink. It's like a calendar that came with her subscription box. I'm just going to put that on the side there. And then I have these AliExpress um, sticky notes. I don't remember where I got it from. I just know these are from AliExpress. It has a pocket here and a pocket here where I keep my uh, Midori Weekly Log um, sticky notes and then more Sterling Ink stickers in this pocket. So a pocket here, a pocket here, and a secretarial pocket. The lining is this like um, vinyl material. It's kind of crinkly, but I don't mind again because once the leather patinas, um, it'll be fine. Like it, it looks really bad here as well. Like you can see here, but eventually it will patina will look good. But yeah, I'm happy with the pocket configurations because I don't really look at the pocket at all. And it's black. And then in the back here, I have a gift card for Mark's warehouse, I think for Jamie's I'm thinking of getting, um, Jamie, it was okay so I ordered something and then it was refunded and put in a gift card so I'm thinking of getting Jamie something my husband something from there soon um it comes with um one two three pockets and another secretarial pocket in the back I just have a few things I just want to like pull to the side here so that you don't see I have these stickers from Bear, baby bear plans she's a good friend of mine um she actually is a shop in Canada, in Alberta, and I love her stuff. So here are some stickers from her shop. And then these meeting stickers from Planner Monkey Co. But yeah, the, the pocket configurations are amazing. Um, these rings are 30 millimeter rings. So they fit a lot, the same size as VDS ones. So it's a bit bigger than my typical file effect setups, but I really wanted to have, um, I don't know, a bigger planner. I am unsure why I sold my VDS Parm and pearl personal ring size I felt it was too big but then after having this planner um it doesn't seem that big they don't seem like this doesn't seem that big I think it might be the same size but anyways I sold those ones because they were too big but then I got this planner and I absolutely love it um so yeah let's just go into the actual contents of it and this is a lot so hopefully I can burn through this video quite fast yeah it's quite epic <laughs> It's chunky. I know you've probably seen more chunky planners, but to me, this is really chunky. Um, most of the stuff that I had in my file of facts vaulted is also in here, except that I have like more of things. So more notes, pages, more dailies and more weeklies. I think I have a whole year in here in weeklies or half a year at least. And all my monthlies are in here. So yeah, let's get to it. At the front here are two sticky notes from Cloth and & Paper and they are stuck on this acetate dash from Michael's that I cut and punched to size. And this over here is a washi uh, strip that I got um, of my washi roll from Paper Bits Co. And here is a dashboard that I got printed locally. This was an image off Pinterest. And then here is a photo with washi from the pink room of my family. On this first divider here is um, in box. So the dividers here are from cloth and paper and from May Paper Co. So these thicker ones with that are darker pink are from cloth and paper and these thinner ones are from May Paper Co. I just have a lot of sections in here. So I needed two um, different kinds of like pink divider sets. So the labels are from, what's wrong? So we'll see Lauren again. Here's Lauren running around. Um, these stickers are from Paradise Planner Co. And then these top ones here are actually page flags from May Paper Co. But the font, the actual like sticker tabs are from um, Paradise Planner Co. And this sticky note is from the Dollar Tree actually. And this just has a list of um, my online orders that I need to order eventually, which is why it's in my inbox. In my meal plan too, there is another to buy kind of sticky notes from the Dollar Tree as well. But these are things that I need to buy when I do my groceries online. And then this is my things to buy when I just like eventually need them. There's no like, they're not time sensitive. Um, here is a vellum dash that I got from Hey Planner Girl. It's a freebie. It was like a set. Each of my sections have these vellum sheets on them. So you see here, I have one here, 
And then I have one here. So every section has one of these. Um, there was kind of like a table of contents, but it was more of a winter theme. So I ended up like, taking that one out. But I still have these um, vellum dashes. And then behind that is this beautiful scrapbook paper that I got from Michaels. That I cut and punched the size. I love how there's like a design on the front and the back. Here is a vellum like polka dot gold thing from Michaels and it goes into my to do inserts and it says November but some of the stuff that I put in here from November is still applicable because there's no like time sensitive things in my inbox. So I have my inbox here. These inserts are from Filofax. And then it goes into my schedule section. And my schedule section is more like my um, monthlies that I don't really use. <laughs> my monthlies are from Filofax. I also have a code, so I'll make sure to link it down below. Um, I have my calendar sticky note section here with the label from Paradise Planner Co. And I have the whole 12 months in my monthly section and again I don't really use my monthly section so here is like my monthly tab it's not January anymore it is a February it's February 1st you guys oh my gosh it feels like Christmas was just yesterday um I have a whole year here I only have my days off and when Annie doesn't have school and any birthdays like I really don't need a monthly section here because I don't even refer to it. I refer mostly my monthlies in my Hobonichi weeks. So these monthlies are definitely more filled out than um, the ones in here in my personal ranks. But I think I probably would have already uploaded my collab with Planning with Quinn um, of how I use my Hobonichi week. So if you want to see how I use my Hobonichi weeks, it's a collab. And I think I've already uploaded it by the time I'm uploading this one. So make sure to check it out as well. I'll link it down below too. So I have a whole year worth of monthlies. And then um, I have this notes pages that also came with this pack. It actually is a weekly pack of the confetti inserts from Filofax. I just took out the weeklies. Here is my next section, which is weekly. Again, these are more sticky notes from the Dollar Tree and another cover page from Hey Planner Girl and another um, scrapbook paper from Michael. So what I usually do is I have a divider and then I have vellum and then I have actual non-see-through paper and then more vellum. That's pretty much like how I do things. Or I, instead of this, um, another vellum in the back, I use like acetate. I, I mix it up, but I really like how this layers. Like I love how that looks. So weekly, again, um, this divider is from Cloth and Paper with Paradise Planner Co. Sticker tabs. And my weeklies are from SM Plans. Actually, before that, my weeklies is my trigger list of things that spark things to do for that particular item. So Jamie's schedule or Jamie's presence or whatever. So I go down the list and kind of like, it's like a brain dump. I, I can just do a brain dump of things to do um, that's associated with my career list. I hope that makes sense. Oh my gosh. It's late in the day. It's my last break. <laughs> Anyways, I also have a weekly review and I have a weekly routine. Um, these inserts are from Infinity Lotus, just their normal notes inserts. And then these are notes inserts from Filofax. And I don't know why I have a planner wish list here. It's just, it's just here. I got most of the stuff in here, so I need to continue checking that off. So what was I saying? My weeklies are from SM Plans and they were a custom. I am primarily using this, so I'll do this big, as a work and social media kind of weekly overview of things to do. But next week, I actually am planning to use it as like my home weekly as well as my work weekly. I'm not sure if I like that because right now my home weekly is in my Hobonichi week. So I'm going to see if this is working. I just like having my Hobonichi weeks. It's like if I wasn't working, it's like the, the perfect on the go planner but anyways these weeklies are just absolutely amazing i have my high level i'll show you here my high level work meetings calls here and then i have my work to do's and any of my social media stuff and i do a reflection about work and social media and all that stuff every week so i really like that that's my weeklies and i have until the end of june 
my next section is my daily section. And this is the section that I use like, like a lot. <laughs> this is my favorite section. It's also my memory keeping section. So in the front here is my morning mindset from cloth of paper. I don't generally refer to this, but if I ever wanted to, I know it's here. And again, this divider is from a paper co this thinner one. I have another vellum dash from Hey Planner Girl, another dashboard from Michaels, another vellum dash from Michaels. And then it goes into like my ideal work days, my ideal weekends, um, and then my actual dailies. And these dailies here, what I was using in January, it's February 1st now. So last month I was using them as just work type of work um, to do's. And then I switched to like, personal too, because I put my memories in there. And these inserts are from Filofax. I love Filofax inserts. When the year started, I wanted the day on two pages and Amazon wasn't selling it and it, they weren't available on um, Filofax website. So I asked SM Plans to do another custom. So she did those weekly customs and now she also did my other daily customs. So I have them printed out for February. And this was yesterday's, oops, this was yesterday's. And this is today's. I'll show you an empty page. Oh, sorry. I usually plan my dailies like, like every week. Okay, so here is what the day looks like. It's a time daily that's dated, the week number. Um, it has a place for time sensitive stuff and the time specific stuff here is where i put like home to do's here is where i put work priorities and like dinners or anything i need to buy and then the bottom here is where i memory keep and which is exactly what i've been doing in these filofax inserts except that i didn't have any place to put like my work and and it just was getting jumbled and getting confusing so i really like how it's like spread out work to do's um, hope to do's, memories. It's all in here. It's all in one planner. I was memory keeping in my A6 Hobonichi and it just totally failed. I think I did like the first six days of January and just, it just, it just left. Like I just didn't feel like doing it anymore. So I like how I can memory keep in my dailies and everything's all here. And I have until the end of January or Oh my gosh, I have until the end of February and then it goes into March. And I have, yeah, I don't have any March inserts. I just have this one page. And then it goes into my meal plan section. So in my meal plan section, I think I already mentioned that I have a weekly grocery list that I need. I have like meal specific lists with the ingredients that I need to buy on my Save on Foods like phone app where I like order groceries. I don't generally go to the grocery store, but things that like run out like Lauren's mouthwash, I can just order it off um like online groceries. But I need to get it done like it can is it, it I need to get it done like now. I need to buy those things like now rather than like these like buy later type of items. So I have this here. This sticky note was actually in my mini mall dam, which is my wallet. So I just put it there and it has like a to buy list too. So I know my meal plan has my to buy list, like the, the actual divider. This divider is from cloth and paper. It's thicker than this May Paper Co one. See how like that's see-through and this isn't. And then it goes to another dashboard from Hey Planner Girl. And paper from Michaels, vellum from Michaels. Oh, this is the script one now from Michaels. And then these inserts are meal planner inserts from Filofax. Again, I have a code for Filofax, so I can I can share that with you guys. And I love how these meal inserts are. So this grocery list is with this meal plan for that week. And then I write some dinners down. So this was in November and then November and then January because my husband was in Vancouver and we were living in Vancouver and living in Victoria. And I just literally, I just didn't cook for like five weeks and it was great. And I just ate at my parents' house all the time or ate out. But now that my husband is back from his I see you rotation in Vancouver and is living here with us again. And we are living here in our city again. I have to mail that and have to clean. So I have a grocery list and I have like, I highlighted when we're going to have family dinners, which is like every day this week. Um, and then dinners that we have the option. So I don't designate, I don't typically designate a meal for the day, but because I did this time, this is kind of like 
meal plan for the week. And then I just really like how it has like a grocery list for the meal plan so I can see everything here, everything rather than ha having to flip through the pages, everything is just here in front of me. And I like that. I hate flipping through pages, which is why I have my Hobo Nichi Weeks for a weekly view or a monthly view when I'm planning my day. Anyways, um, here are some meal ideas. I'm a big Campbell Soups <laughs> recipe girl. Um, and then I have a master to grocery list where it's like store specific things to buy. And it just has like my shopping tab here. And I haven't really filled this out. Most of my like reference, like fun memory keeping stuff is in my Hobonichi weeks. So I haven't really filled this out yet. Um, I have things I want to bake, new foods. And by the way, I hate baking. So that's why that's there. And then new restaurants. But the thing is, I have like new restaurants and stuff in the back here. So like new places. So like restaurants and new places are here. So yeah, I don't really utilize this section that much, but oh well. My next section here is home. This is a maybe for code divider with vellum from Hey Planner Go, Michaels, Michaels, and here. So these notes pages again are from Infinity Note Lotus and it's under my project sections. And then these inserts are from Philo Bags. I haven't really done the projects in a while, so so they're not filled out, but they are there if I need them. My next section is my family section. And you know the drill, <laughs> you know, hey planner girl, um, Michaels, but this time there's no vellum in the back. It's just a photo um, collage that I made of Annie, Jamie, my husband, and Lauren. Oh, but like a Michaels vellum dash and has my wish list here. And then I need to fill this out. Um, Annie's wish list, Lauren's, Jamie's. I mean, it's only February and I don't really know what to put in here. I don't really know what they want because Christmas just happened a month ago. So I pretty much got everything that they wanted that was on their wish list. So now I have to accumulate more items to put in these wish lists. So that's why um, they're empty. I have my parents as well. And then things that I want to do with the kids. So I really want to do tea time with Annie. I really want to do that. And then things to do with Lauren. And then some date night ideas. Um, some school notes. Preschool notes. Parents notes. And that's pretty much it. So this is pretty much like my family section, which is just that, like just family notes, wish lists and stuff. My next section is financial. And um, yeah, I didn't really, didn't really utilize this because most of my financial stuff is in my Hobonichi week. So I didn't really go over that um, when I was doing it. But I have expenses like last week, but then this week I'm kind of moving away from expenses. I um I don't know. I'm not really buying that much stuff right now, so that's why I thought I wouldn't need an expense section in my Hobonichi weeks this week. But I am hoping to utilize this area, this section of my planner for budgeting. And so I have some November to January expenses. I need to redo this because it's I didn't use the section, but I do want to use it for February. And then just some income um, notes, um, car notes. And I do also have car notes back here, but um, that's the thing. I don't really use these like miscellaneous sections in my personal weeks. I more so use it in my um, Hobonichi weeks because it's just something that I refer to more often. So here's like car stuff is in here. It's kind of like the same thing. Anyways, my next section is goals and these are really cute. So um, my goals are kind of like all over the map. They're usually the same kind of goals for every year. I just want to improve myself. So these are my 2022 goals. And so um, I didn't really put my 22 goals in here. But they're just in here. So I have bucket lists though. So I have my winter bucket list. I have my Christmas bucket list. I have my 2022 goals. Never mind, I lied. I just never really look at it in my personal ranks. And I have tried something new, books to read, movies to watch, movies that I've watched, books that I've read, and places for 2022. My next section is habits or health, sorry. And it has habits in here, but it's just wait, it's just awful. I have um, a sleep tracker that I just haven't used from a planner room. And yeah, I need to maybe print out more of these and use them. 
it really helps to for me to track my sleeping but i haven't been doing that lately and then i have my um wellness tracking which i did not continue with workouts i did not and these inserts are from Filofax, but they are there if i do decide to work out i also had a tracker here for health but um yeah I stopped like three weeks ago on the 17th of January. I just stopped. I'm just not a tracker type of girl. Like I just am not. I'm a planning type of girl. I'm a dailies and weeklies planner type of girl, but I am not a tracker type of girl. Anyways, um, my next section is personal, um, vellum dash, <laughs> paper, vellum, and these are old. Um, this is like my gratitude section. So this is from my Mexico trip in November. I like seeing this, so that's why it's still here. I don't want to let them go because I love it. And then I have a couple more days when I came back from Mexico to home. And then some affirmations that I haven't really used. I should fill it out. But I do have this self-care section, which I do love. It's what I filled out that helps me deal with any sort of stress. So it has my self-care things that I like to do. So I like to refer to this when I'm feeling stressed. I was going to put this in my Hobonichi, but I ended up not doing that. I just put it in here because most of my stress is usually during the weekdays when I am working. So that's why this is here. And then I have these notes for stop worrying. And I was thinking of, if you didn't see my last video, it's pretty much an, a place for me to write down um, my slippery slope thoughts of just like when I'm really worrying. And hopefully when I write things down, I'm able to let them go and not worry so much. But I haven't had the chance to use it because I haven't been super stressed in a while, in a long time or super worried about something in a long time. Here is my random section. Again, these are sticky notes from the Dollar Tree. Do I have any more? Yeah, these sticky notes are all from the Dollar Tree that you see here. It goes to my random section, which is just that. Oh, another thing, what I do really love about these Hey Planner Girl dashboards is that you can write down, type down um, what is in the section. So I haven't really been doing that. So in my random section is work, travel, meeting notes, and etc. And um, maybe I should just go through them, my, my planner again. I can just read it out to you. But anyways, I have some work notes here. I have some travel notes here, even though I'm not going to Mexico again for a while um, with Omicron and COVID going a bit crazy in comparison to how it was three months ago. Um, I like to have this in here just in case. Um, I, I don't know, just in case. And then I have a Christmas list um, that was doing so random seriously the section is called random for a reason more notes pages from filofax and then i have this dashboard um from cloth and paper or is it from cloth and paper yes it is um a meeting notes. so i just have some sticky notes in the back here it just is meeting notes that's why this is here and then a bookmark from planning with allo another dashboard from michael's some notes pages and i have this dashboard with like top um pocket here from filofax where i just have photos and notes and all that jazz and a page lifter but yeah that is pretty much my personal rings um should i go over the sections a little bit one more time slower maybe yeah okay so my inbox is just that my inbox and my schedule section oh this is not in the other not like the other ones but in my schedule section i have my 2022 calendar monthly review and my monthlies um here in my weekly section i have my trigger list my weekly review and routine and actual weekly inserts and in my daily section i have my ideal day um laid out like schedule and then my actual dailies in my meal plan section, I have to buys, weekly meals, groceries, meal ideas, and grocery lists, and restaurants. My home section, I have my projects and cleaning. In my family section, I have my wish list, kids, and school stuff. In my financial, I have my budgeting, expenses, my income, and auto stuff. And in my goal section, I have my personal goals, new things to try, books, movies, and places, and bucket lists. In my health section, I have my habits and workouts. In my personal section, I have my gratitude, affirmation, self-care, and stop worrying inserts. And then in my random section is my work, travel, meeting notes, and etc. So that is pretty much my personal rings flip through. 
<laughs> if you enjoyed that, make sure to give it a thumbs up and think about subscribing as well. I hope you guys enjoyed that flip and kind of like that mini review of the Naya Papery personal rings. Honestly, I love this darn thing. Um, it's just been such an amazing planner. Coming from a Filofax Malden, this was like a perfect kind of like um, undyed leather to move into. Like I remember my Jillio, I just hated it because it was so sensitive. Um, but at least with the Naya Papery, it's a lot more durable and like I can drop it, spill things on it. I have wet hands, greasy hands, and it still works out for me. So I'm, I'm really, really happy that I pulled the trigger and bought this planner. But yeah. Thanks again for taking the time to watch this video. Again, if you guys have any more questions or if you want to see like more um, photos of this, make sure to check out my Instagram as well or shoot me a DM or write a message um, or write me a comment down below. And if you have any questions, hopefully I can answer them. But yeah, Whew, that was a long video, but thanks a lot, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Until next time, you guys. Bye.